Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-January 2022. Did I say it? I don't remember. Uh, and, um, ah, huh, man, I forgot. I, I forgot everything. I'll do the reading for you, and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there's an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. I'll start off good with you, Taurus. I forgot everything. Um, I'm just, you know, when I'm at a loss of words or things like that, I'm just going to blame it on Mercury retrograde. Why the hell not? We have to blame it on something. We're humans. We gotta point fingers. No, we don't gotta. We don't gotta. Let's see, Taurus. I'm singing. I'm singing. I'm singing. Uh, Christmas songs. Ah, I'm still there. Still there. All right. The overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Wands. Initiative. Somebody wants to take some. Uh, starting off the reading, you get the Eight of Wands crossed by the Lovers. Okay, so something is definitely opening up in terms of um, energy exchange, communication possibly. And if it's not physical communication, it's definitely through dreams or telepathy. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are using these days, but uh, definitely something happening, something opening up here in a very powerful connection you share with someone. Um, in your focus here, the judgment, possibly making some decisions here, possibly uh, going through some changes, big ass changes. In the recent past, really up in your head about things, in your strength, really up in your head about things. Uh, not that you're really up in your head about things in your strength there. I feel like you're recognizing that. When you go up here, you go starting all over the place here. I feel like you're already in that place of, oh man, here I go again. All right. You know, so that could be potentially a, um, a good start to just kind of stand back from that and start observing that rather than participating in that. In the immediate future, the Five of Cups, a little bit of regret, sadness, things from the past are coming up. Um, the supportive energies here, the Four of Wands. Now, this could be about a marriage, or if it's not, it sure feels like that in terms of maybe, I don't know, you met this person twice and you're like, ah, there's something here. I feel something. I feel like I'm bonded with you for life kind of thing, you know? Um, in the energy that is surrounding you and you may not be aware of it the knight of wands there's a lot of passion here stored stored possibly restored with the ace of wands but stored for sure in your hopes and fears determination going to get things done for the potential outcome a little bit of rejection a little bit of you stay there i stay here now let's clarify let's see what's up my boys have abandoned me uh, not, not, this is my main boy. He was always here ever since I started this channel, ever since he's been here for 17 years. Um, but those two played all day until they exhausted themselves. And now they're like belly up somewhere. I see Felix curled up somewhere inside and Kai, I don't know, he was here, he visited me. But, um, yeah, today was play day. Let's see. Ace of Wands. Wow. Uh, the Moon, the Hermit, the Nine of Cups. Wow, you're... Oh, I feel like there's been a lot of good juju on your side. Good healing done. Uh, you're coming from a place of within. And it's a very happy place. It's a place from which you want to go do something. I don't know what. Possibly tied up to this passionate, to this stored passion um, situation. But um, it's a very, very good emotionally balanced place for you here. I love it. Can we not clarify everything else? Because this one I love. We'll just sit here for 20 minutes in this energy right here. Okay, we'll do that. Also, can I? No, okay, I'll, I'll continue. 
Anyways, very, very nice energy. I love how your reading started. Let me do the Eight of Wands. Abandoners. Abandoners. How do you call that? Abandoners. I don't know. Abandoners. Anyways, Eight of Wands, the Death card, the Ten of Cups, the Emperor. It's like you're you're sitting in this self-empowered kind of state, and you're telling me enough with words. Words are cheap. I want freaking happiness. I'm like, okay. What do you mean? So you know, um, cause, I mean that's the exact message that's coming through uh, with these cards. And then there's the lovers that is attached to this energy. So let's see the lovers. Six of cups, five of wands, the judgment card. Um, so the way I see it, there's a connection and there's, a, there's another connection in the background of that connection. Um, in this connection right here, I feel like it's the front one, the one that you're dealing with, right? The one that you can see, you can touch, it's right here. Hey, connection, what's up? And the connection says, hey, Taurus, what's up? So you're like right here. Uh, in this connection, there's a little bit of conflict here. Now, keep in mind, there's a connection here in the background, another one, which I don't know what that is quite yet, but I see you in the place of the good juju is tied up to that. Not saying that the good juju is not tied up at all to the front connection. But I'm kind of getting it on two separate fronts here. And in the front connection, there seems to be a little bit of not matching in energies at this point. There's a little bit of disagreement, a little bit of something happening, not being on the same page. And the judgment card, which you have in your focus, I feel like it's decision time in regards to um, at least the conflict in this connection. Let me do the judgment card. They intertwine, these two planes somehow intertwine, but they're very two very different energies. One that you're dealing with in the background, one that you're dealing with right in front of you. For the judgment card, you get the world card, the hangman, the ace of cups. I don't know what the hell is happening here, but you got some good juju going on. And that's what I'm going to name your reading, if I don't forget. Um, you definitely want love. You're coming from a place of healing, from a place within yourself, where something grew to the point of, that's it, that's exactly what I want, and that's exactly what I'm going to get. Um, it almost feels like you're dropping judgment, like you're dropping that place of, huh, let's look around us, let's see, where's love? Over there, mm, no, too skinny. Over there, eh, mm, yeah, but maybe, you know, I don't know, their history though, mm, yeah, no, fuck it. Over there, mm, eh, let's throw some more judgment on that and let's it almost feels like you're dropping all of that and you're looking beyond that and you're like love 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 the energy of love who's gonna carry it doesn't freaking matter as long as it's that one that i carry right now and that matches mine um i don't see you necessarily going after it but i see you experiencing it and that could be in tie with the connection in the background you know, which I don't see it here physically with you because otherwise you would move a little more around it. I see you just experiencing it. Let me do the two of swords there in your strength. <laughs> this is exactly what I just explained. Love, too skinny, love, blah, 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 blah. Uh, seven of cups, two of cups, the wheel of fortune. And again, an energy of that kind of energy is changing. Something is shifting in that. Let me look with the judgment eyes. Let me establish how love looks like, you know, love's hair, eyes, weight, height, you know, things of that nature. Definitely looking at love from a, hmm, let me choose, let me choose and pick and choose love let me see 
And that comes from a judgmental kind of, you know, mindset. And it was definitely ruled by all the chatter in here. You know, all of your experiences that make you question things, doubt things, and so on and so forth. And again, there's definitely a change in that energy. There's definitely a flip here. All right. Um, Five of Cups in the immediate future. Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Lots of healing coming up for you. And your past experiences here of regret, possibly, or they're over someone that... Um, someone strong, independent, very charming, very... Mm, but again, kind of showing me through your perspective of the physical. Like, oh, they look good on the surface. Okay, but what was inside? I, I don't know, I didn't check. Yeah, good enough on the surface, we'll call it love, we'll leave it at that. Because you were coming from that perspective at that time, so they're showing up under that perspective. You're also showing me that they're in the past here. Lots of healing over that energy, person, situation uh, coming up. Let me do the Four of Wands. Um, that I feel like has to do with, again... If you're gaining a different perspective over things and you're dropping the judgment card, basically, you know, on the floor and you're not looking at things from that perspective anymore, you might be looking at this situation a little bit different. So that's why it could possibly come back up again. Four of Wands and the supportive energies, the Ace of Pentacles, the Tower, the Star. Yep, you want commitment, you want love, you want all sorts of good things. But I feel like this commitment is definitely tied up to another person that you know who it is. I do not know. They probably do not know. Your friends probably do not know. You know. So you're getting clarity around that. This is what I want. And it's almost coming in as a shocking freaking surprise for you as well. Let alone for whoever you want to experience this with. Um... Oh man, I love this shift for you though, you know? The Knight of Wands, let's see, in the um, hidden energies. The Queen of Cups, the King of Swords, the Knight of Cups. There's a lot of love here. Yeah, it's covered by passion. It's, it's undercover passion, basically. But underneath it all, there's a whole lot of love and it's shared. It's on both parts. And something about this energy is kind of placing in this King of Swords energy in the knowing of it all, in the determination, courage of taking things and just running with them. You know, I don't know what kind of bubble burst for you here, but it's definitely called love. Man, I love this year because uh, it is. It's number six here. It's about love. Sorry, we're going to talk about love all year long. Yay! My favorite topic in school. They didn't have that, right? Nah. Uh, King of Swords. You get the Page of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Strength card. All right. Starting to take small steps. Yeah, you got the King of Swords with you. But that's, you know, that's an energy you carry inside of you. What's reflecting outside is this little Page of Cups, which is enough. For now because it's kind of like the beginning let me go towards stability let me go towards what it is that i'm looking for in this energy that i'm in basically and it takes a lot of courage here but i see you starting to open up in the direction of wherever your heart leads you basically you know so it's it's a beautiful freaking feeling and you see the seven of wands for the Potential outcome, uh, Queen of Swords, Nine of Swords, King of Cups. When you shut down, when you get out of your emotions, just like that, because it's easily done for you, right? You've been in this place of the Eight of Swords. Look at it. It's in the past. You've been here. You know this. The, let me get stuck in my mind. Let me get logical about things really quick, because I don't like this. It's too much emotion, too much. Eh, let's close it down. Um, and you know that when you switch it off from the emotions, which, by the way, are beautiful. I don't know what the hell you did here keep these emotions like this because they work out for you um 
that tells me there's been a lot of healing when somebody is like uh showing this kind of emotion especially um i don't know how much you're showing in the world but when you're showing it in the energies that i'm reading it's like oh oh okay so there, that's vulnerability that's opening up to me as a reader so that's like a lot of healing behind it um but you do show me the potential of swinging right back into the logical right and beyond that there's that love over there so it's like at this point you get to choose are you going to keep this that you've worked so hard for and created this beautiful freaking place for you or are you going to switch into let's be logical because you do have that potential you're showing me there that it could come right back up you know where you're pushing away you're rejecting how you feel and then it creates this whole queen of swords persona right i'm in control i got it i'm not hurt by anything and behind this queen of swords by the way there's pain um and behind it all in the emotional aspect of things there's a lot of love so you choose at this point you get to choose you always got to choose but choosing from a place of not that healed energies and choosing from a place of healing very different things so you always got to choose but think of it this way where you healed when you got to choose and what did your choices look like back then and when you are healed what do your choice look like coming from from that place of healing very different let's see what the universe has the ten of swords the hermit the three of swords you're showing me hey it's not easy to heal okay it's very painful i don't know what the hell you're talking about with this love that i have it all everywhere but it's because it's here it's definitely here and i know the process to get here is very painful and i know it's very hard it's kind of like the universe slapped me in the face like what you you, you think it was easy no i know it wasn't uh i just love the end result of this energy however painful it was and i can see it's very very painful probably the universe kind of torturing you with energies of loss fears of all sorts of things that create a lot of pain but end result let's close it off with the spirit of the animals oracle no licking of leg thank you I thought if I did like a very thick accent kind of, you would stop. Even though you can't really hear me, but... Where are the abandoners? I, I don't even know, I don't think that word exists, but I am freely creating words. A mixture of Romanian plus English abandoners. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Taurus. The loon, intuitive, listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude, the hermit. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. I think you are. I think that's exactly what's happening here. You're fucking blossoming with love here. And that fucking was very loving because it, it did, did. okay. Uh, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.